Why do you think it's so important to do this Thanksgiving? And how do you think the future generations will react to that? Well, you know what? My children are a part of it, so they're already affected by it because they see the beauty of the day. You look kind of very dapper yourself, too. Why, thank you. It's fun <laughs> so, to dress up every once in a while. Are you excited about tonight? I am. already got to see the run-throughs of the plays, and they're really funny. George, how are you this evening? Nice on some. Uh, nice ensemble, you heard it here first. This is all about entertainment and educating the youth. Yep. This is the Irene Foundation. Tell me how and what you're doing to engage the future of philanthropy. And Reggie, just like Irene, I mean, both of you are mentors, you know, kids look up to you. Well, I don't know how else to follow up on that answer, right? <laughs> Well, we, we like, think along the same lines. I was we do like, portion <laughs> one, three seconds to go, and you just gave the best answer possible. We want to call attention to Jonathan Babika, this year's Hearts and Stars Shining Light Award. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever Brazil Foundation Miami Gala. I'm Jonathan Babica. And I'm Erin Bell. And we're going to show you exactly what the Brazil Foundation is all about. Join us. My name is Jonathan Babica in beautiful Miami. And I'm joined here with my partner in giving back, Stefan Morris. Sprinkling a little bit of, uh, of the new age on everybody right now. So here we are at Make-A-Wish Ball. Black and white party. The party of the century. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that. I'm here with Coach Jorge, and we're discussing how being healthy isn't just about eating nutritiously, but it's about the physical training as well. Very successful night for Common Threads this evening. Silent auction held by Ian Schrager. A lot of money was raised, a lot of very extravagant packages from celebrity chefs to celebrity stays, and uh, overall, everybody enjoyed themselves and learned a little bit about how Common Threads operates with the kids in their after school programs. Really, this is the best way to, uh, to spend Thanksgiving. Next time around, next year, I encourage everybody to come out. It's really, really meaningful. You know, the fact that we kind of have a presence and cause attention, it's really good in terms of broadening the horizon for these future philanthropists. To me, it's my favorite event of the year. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> yes. We're here at the Radio Rebel premiere, benefiting the Ryan Seacrest Foundation. We're going to ask the questions that count. What does philanthropy mean to you? I feel like it's the purpose of why we're here.